Professor Wurgelius here. We just talked about an important example about JavaScript and the DOM. Let's go back to the slide where the example is explained. And I just want to make sure the third bullet is very clear. Now, at first it said JavaScript is used to change the content. I want to explain that in crystal clear detail. JavaScript is the language used to access the DOM and the DOM is used to change the content of that element to hello world. So remember, here's JavaScript. It's almost like uh, if I call, let's say the Google Maps API. Okay, I have JavaScript, I'm calling the Google Maps API. I'm writing JavaScript code, and then I wanna display Google Maps on my page. Is JavaScript displaying Google Maps on my page, or is the Google Maps API displaying the Google Maps on my page? Well, Google Maps API is displaying that on your page. You're writing JavaScript code, you access the Google Maps API, and Google Maps API puts the Google Maps on your page. Okay, I can do the same without JavaScript. I could use, let's say, uh, PHP, or Node, or Angular, any of the programming languages, even though those are related. Let's just say I use any language to access the Google Maps API and have the Google Maps show that on my page. The same concept here. I'm using JavaScript to access the DOM. The DOM is then grabbing that element and then changing the value on the page. I can do that with other languages as well. It doesn't have to be JavaScript. So that's why I wanna make sure JavaScript is the programming language we're using to access the DOM. Why? Because here's JavaScript and I call the document keyword. So this is now accessing the DOM using JavaScript and the DOMS method, this is get element by ID, that's a DOM method and enter HTML is a DOM property. So I'm using the DOM to then change the contents dynamically that is written in JavaScript. I could also write this in other languages as well. So let's talk about JavaScript and the HTML DOM and the different methods and properties we've looked at. So remember, get element by ID is a method. It's the most common way to access an HTML element. Remember, get element by ID is a method, and it's the most common way to access an HTML element by using that ID of the element. Why is it the most common way? Because usually you want to grab one element. If you want to grab one element, you're going to grab it by ID. If you want to grab multiple elements, you may grab it by class or by type. In the previous example, we used the get element by ID method, which is used to find ID equal to demo in the HTML DOM. So I'm using get element by ID, which is a method to find the element where ID is equal to demo. Now, the iter HTML is a property. It's the easiest way to get the content of an element, and it's also used to set or replace the content of an element. Okay, I'm going to use inner HTML property to get the content of an element. I can also use the inner HTML property to get or replace, to set or replace the content of HTML. Okay, so these are all DOM methods and properties. Inner HTML can be used to get or change any HTML element, including the HTML tag and the body, which is how single page applications are made. So I can have a blank HTML document and I can change the contents of the HTML tag or the body tag, and my page can be completely dynamic at runtime, okay, which is why the HTML DOM is so powerful. The HTML DOM, it's the document object, is the owner of all objects in your web page. The HTML DOM or the document object model is a document object representation of your web page. If you want to access any element in the HTML page, you always start with accessing the document object. Below are some examples of how you can use the document object to access and manipulate HTML. Let's take a look at some examples. Let's say I want to find HTML elements. I can do get element by ID, that's going to find one element. I could do get elements by tag name. So let's say I want to find all the paragraph tags or all the divs, or by class name. I can specify a class and multiple elements will return as an array. Or if I wanna change HTML elements, I can change the inner HTML, I can change an attribute, I can set an attribute, or I can change the style of the HTML element. Or let's say I wanna add elements. Let's say my body is empty, I wanna add a paragraph tag that has not been created. 
I can create an element or remove a child, append a child, or replace a child. Now, the document write method is usually used to debug your code, but remember in a previous lecture, we do not recommend to use that in this class. We also have event handlers. Let's say I want to use JavaScript to place an on click on a paragraph tag with ID equal to demo. On click wasn't there before. Using the DOM, I can write JavaScript to access the DOM to add that event handler on the HTML element, even though it wasn't there before. Now let's talk about changing HTML. The DOM allows JavaScript to change the content of HTML elements. I'm writing JavaScript code, I'm accessing the DOM, and the DOM is changing the HTML elements. So that's allowing JavaScript to change the HTML element. Changing HTML content is the easiest way to modify content of an HTML element, and usually we're gonna do that by the inner HTML property. So if I wanna change content of an HTML element, you're gonna use this syntax. Document, I'm accessing the DOM, dot get element by ID, that's the method, dot enter HTML is the property, and I'm gonna set that equal to the new HTML, which we've seen in the previous example. Okay, but let's make sure we clearly understand this example. Here I have the HTML tag. Inside the body, I have a paragraph tag with ID equal to P1. At first, it says, hello world. Okay, this is gonna be in the source code. Then, after the paragraph tag is loaded, a script tag is now loaded. It's going to access the DOM, I'm gonna use the DOMS method, get element by ID. I'm looking for P1 as the ID. Once I find that, if it's available, I'll change the inner HTML to equal new text. So once this loads, the HTML is gonna load sequentially. So it's gonna start at the top and load to the bottom line by line. So it loads the HTML tag, it's gonna load the body. It's gonna load the paragraph tag, it's gonna say hello world, and it's gonna set the ID equal to P1. Here comes the script tag. It's gonna use the DOM, so it's gonna access the DOM. It's gonna call the DOM's method, get element by ID. It's gonna search for P1. P1 is available, so it found it. Now it's gonna change the inner HTML property instead of hello world, it's now gonna say new text. Once the DOM has finished loading, once the HTML tag closed, the user will now see new text instead of hello world. So the HTML document above contains a paragraph tag with ID equal to P1. We're gonna use the HTML DOM to get the element with ID equal to P1, and we're going to change the content, the inner HTML of that element to new text. Now it says JavaScript changes the content, but JavaScript is just the programming language that's accessing the DOM, and the DOM's changing the property. Okay, so it's kind of a pipeline there. So technically JavaScript's the language that accesses the DOM, and the DOM changes the property, of that element to new text. Two more examples. Let's take a look at changing the value of an attribute. To change the value of an HTML attribute, you're gonna use this syntax, document.getElementById dot whatever attribute you're trying to change equal to the new value. So here's an example. I have my HTML page. It's gonna be loaded sequentially line by line. Here's the doc type, here's the HTML tag, here's the body. I have an image with ID equal to my image and source equal to smiley.gif. Here comes the script tag, it's gonna use the DOM. It's gonna call the method, get element by ID. I'm looking for my image. Here's my image, it found it, and now I wanna change the attribute source to landscape.jpg. So I can have an image, instead of having two images and hiding one, I can actually just change the source tag of the image using JavaScript. So I can dynamically change that attribute. Okay, the HTML document above contains an image element with ID equal to my image. We're gonna use the HTML DOM to get the element with ID equal to my image. And then JavaScript's changing the source attribute of that element from smiley.gif to landscape.jpg. Technically, JavaScript is the language that's used to access the DOM, and the DOM is used to change the source tag. So JavaScript is changing the source tag through the DOM. Okay, that's what that sentence here means. So, on an exam, I'm writing what is actually happening here. So on an exam, you can say the right things as well. So if I wanted to say this crystal clear, I'd actually change it a little bit. I'd say JavaScript is a language used to access the DOM and the DOM changes the source attribute of that element from smiley to landscape. 
Okay, so this would actually be a better way to say it in order to get 100% on the exam. So let's go through that one more time. JavaScript is the language used to access the DOM and the DOM changes the source attribute of that element from smiley.gif to landscape.jpg. Remember this, you're gonna be tested on this on an exam. I want you to say the right things. One more example, let's look at changing the style of an HTML element. To change the style, of an HTML element, you're gonna use this syntax, document.getElementById.style, and then the property of the CSS. So I'm gonna access the styles, and then the property, and set the new style. So here's an example. Here I have a paragraph tag with ID equal to P2, and it states, hello world. Right now it's the basic browser's default. So the paragraph tag is gonna be colored black. Now, once the script tag runs, I'm using JavaScript. JavaScript's the language. I'm accessing the DOM. I'm gonna use the DOM's get element by ID method, looking for an ID that's equal to P2. Here's ID equal to P2, so I found it. I'm going to access the styles, and I'm gonna access the color property, and instead of black, I'm gonna set that equal to blue. So here's how you're gonna to wanna to say that on an exam. The page is loaded with a paragraph tag with ID equal to P2. I'm using the HTML DOM to access the element with paragraph tag equal to P2. Then I'm using JavaScript to access the DOM. The DOM is accessing the style and changing the color to blue once the DOM has finished loading. Okay, and then the paragraph tag was actually changed by JavaScript at runtime. Hopefully that's clear. We're gonna take a look at some DOM events and get into how JavaScript can use the DOM to access events and then we're gonna talk about the differences between JavaScript and the DOM because I wanna make sure you're crystal clear on that because you're gonna see that on the quiz and you're also gonna see that on the exam. Stick with Professor Wergelis and I'll show you the differences between the two.